there was a message to the Greeks. Perhaps it wasn't meant to be explicitly stated, but it does appear to tell them as they go into their election at the weekend, if you want to participate in this program, you have to remain part of the single currency. Was that intentional? Oh, but Greece will remain part of the single currency. I have no doubt about that. Uh, so the, the message to Greece is not a new message, and it's not a new message. It's not a message to Greece only. Uh, it's a message to all Eurozone countries. Um, if you want the ECB uh, to take your bonds as collateral, if you want the ECB uh, to be in a position to buy your bonds, uh, you need a, a European and an IMF program, and this is because uh, we need to see a, 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 a dynamics of reform in the economy, and this has nothing to do with the election. The election, uh, it is a political discussion. Reforms will be different uh, if, if the government is different, and that is democracy. Benoit, just, just give me a personal take on this. Look, the states finished its program mm. effectively three months ago. Mm. We're six years on from the financial crisis. Um, many, many Europeans have been waiting for mm. this day to arrive. Do you think that this was a watershed moment where we've now turned a corner? And just share with us some, some sense of how you felt when finally you knew that the package was ready to go. Well, I was certainly relieved personally because that is a lot of work, a lot of discussions. Uh, and now uh, this is done, uh, we'll start doing it. And uh, now this is about acting. Uh, this is about buying bonds. So we're moving to the practical phase, which is much easier. Um, are we out of the woods? Is Europe out of the woods? Uh, certainly, uh, it's looking better. It's looking much better. We have a conjunction of factors uh, that makes uh, me mo much more optimistic on European growth looking forward. And it's not only what we've decided, it's also the low oil price. It's uh, the, uh, the way the exchange rate has adjusted uh, uh, in the past. And uh, this is also uh, the, the dynamic of, uh, of reform that we see in some countries. Uh, but at the end, as I said, uh, whether uh, Europe can create long-term growth that's a question for, uh, for investors. That's a question for the business to decide. Do they want to invest in Europe? Uh, is, that a, uh, is that an attractive environment? Is that a business-friendly environment? That's not for the ECB to decide.